Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We've just done a video about the Mirage F1 and how we would like it in DCS. I mean, it is coming to DCS through AVO Dev and we'll bring that to you when we can. For now, just to keep you happy, as we're in the mood for doing silly little mods at the moment, we do have a free mod by Patrick56, uh, which is just a little bit of fun, obviously. Here is where you download it from. We'll just do a video showing how to download it and use it very quickly. It's all very easy and simple. You're going to come to this page here and I'll include this link up here in the video description that you can see. So to download it, do not click on download, it does not work. You need to get this here. So I'm gonna try and grab it. You need to get that big file name there. Put it into a new browser. Other browsers are available. And I'm gonna click download there, and it's gonna download it, and may also give you some spamware, I don't know, but I didn't get any with mine and the download worked so then what we're going to do is going to download it presumably to your downloads area so here's the downloads area there is the zip file it's going to give you that's uh, it says for 2.5.5 ignore that they have upgraded it for 2.5.6 is what it actually works with so 2.5.5 won't actually work go into it you get two folders left click on that one Press your finger on control, left click on that one as well. So you've got both of them selected. Left control and C to copy. Okay, now we're going to get out of here and go and find our saved games area. Your saved games area will probably be on C drive, users, whichever user is you, and save games. Mine, I've moved mine somewhere else because I ran out of disk space. I've moved mine to F drive. So save games. In save games, go to DCS or DCS open beta. Then go to movies mods, mods. Then go to, oh, if mods isn't there, create mods, exactly as I've done. In mods, aircraft, is that not, if that's not there, create it exactly as I've done. In there, paste there. And two files will be pasted, that and that. Once they're there, don't touch them. Next, start up the new version. This is the version I'm testing on. Other versions will not work as far as I'm aware. 2.5.6.4704. If you're not using that version and it doesn't work, please don't shout at me saying you can't get it to work. I can't help you. Mission Editor, I'm going to create a new, in fact, I'm going to open an old one. I've put two planes in. There is a Mirage F1 I've put in and a Mirage F1 CT. The Mirage F1 is the, for how it works with unofficial mods, is the air-to-air -air variant. The Mirage F1 CT is the air-to-ground variant. So if we look at the air-to-air -air variant, we go in here, we've got various missiles that we can carry. So air-to-air -air missiles, you can even carry AMRAMs and stuff, but... Uh, to keep it realistic, I believe you can use the 530D there. You can have bombs, which are various things taken from the Mirages and other planes. You've got Snake Eyes, Belugas, Double Belugas, and standardized uh, NATO bombs. Fuel tanks, as shown. Rocket Matra, as shown. Uh, missiles again, bombs, the same. Fuel tanks and rockets with a larger variety of DCS typical rockets. Next here. We've got more bombs added. We've got the SAMP-82 the Sa and the SAMP-Type-8021. These are uh, French bombs, general purpose bombs of various yields. And more racks here for multiple standardized NATO bombs. And out here, air-to-air -air missiles of the Mike Sidewinder and the R550 Magic. Now let's have a look at the ground attack variant which is uh, got a ground attack. So for in the middle, we can have a Mercury pod for night attack, which is pretty cool, taken from the SU-25. Fuel tanks here. Bombs, we can carry laser-guided bombs. We'll talk about which bombs you can realistically use and which you can't in a bit. Blue 107, we've got uh, some standardized NATO air-to-ground weapons. An AS-30L, uh, this is a laser-guided weapon guided weapon which we can use to our scroll we've got our uh, an agm 65k we can use for our scroll we've got bombs a whole bunch including laser guided bombs and the other ones we've seen before fuel tanks as you got there rockets as we've seen before and uh, we've also got pods barracks uh god what's that guys an ecm isn't it and a fire mat which is a uh chap and flare dispenser uh rockets and so on and we're gonna have a couple of side uh, sidewinder type variants there so let's go and show you how you actually do it. Let's load into the game. So I quickly jump in air to air. It's so easy to use the air to air that I probably won't even show you. I haven't even set up my controls. You go inside. It is an F-15, slightly modified F-15 cockpit, as you can see. Works as an F-15 cockpit. Controls are as a flanker and are going to work as a flanker. You can even import your old flanker controls if you want and 
you can go and use it as a typical FC3 type firing platform. There's nothing really to add other than that. Uh, and you've got the exterior mod, obviously, of this plane here with my 530s and so on. Uh, the air to ground's a bit more interesting. Um, so we're going to go choose slot. Uh, at a ground variant. This has got the cockpit of a MiG-29, uh, the heart of a MiG-29, and the flight model, I think, of... You can hybrid these things, basically. You can mix and match DLL files. So you can make the cockpit, for instance, of a MiG-29. You can make the flight model of an SU-25. You can use the controls of a, I don't know, an A-10A, whatever. Um, that's how these work. Uh, so it's got the flight model, I think, of the... Uh, 25's got the controls. It says somewhere between the 25 and the MiG-29 controls, I think. I imported them from my MiG-29. Of course, you can go here. You can go load, uh, wherever it is. Uh, load profile. I loaded it from my MiG-29. Uh, that's how I did it. Okay, uh, take off and show you how you can do a couple of things really quickly. If you've got FC3 and you will have to have FC FC3 installed for this to work, then you'll know how to do this already. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is funny. We like this. The GBU-24 goes through the wing. AS-30 is perfect. The Maverick hangs, and the GBU-24 goes through the wing. That's just how the French do it, guys. Suck it up. Hey, has the Mirage F1 really got the uh, refueler like that? I didn't know that. How interesting. Gear up. So I'm going to press the O key to bring up our scroll. Not working. Press the 7 key to bring up air to air. Bring, press the O key to bring up our Schwal there. You've got all the controls you just set up as a uh, Big 39 slash SU25. So if you've got FC3, you'll already have them set them up. So I don't need to show you how to do that. I'm going to change weapons so we can get a AGM 65K. Let's go and see if we can shoot a bad guy down there. Ah, it feels like a MiG-29 flight model, actually. I may be wrong, but let me know what you guys think. I don't really have the time to look at this in huge detail we're going to ground stabilize we're going to find an actual target we've got a target there check it's within range or whatnot and it is and wow rifle so i like the fact that these cheeky little mods you can uh, give them guided weapons like this slow old missile isn't it and so on the k the got the as uh, 30 here now, let me talk about the next guided weapons. AS-30L, bunker-busting, heavy-duty, laser-guided weapon there. Looks pretty awesome. And the GBUs do work, but to do them, you have to go and edit um, a little thing in here to give you the option to add the laser. So what I'll do, rather than showing you, actually, I haven't actually done it myself because... I just haven't really got time to do it, but I just want to show you how to do it. I'll put a link, a second link, in, in the video description to the ED forum showing you how to go and add the ability to laze, because you need the ability to laze um, to use that. Then you just use it like a, a laser guided Vickers or something like that on an SC-25, and that will work. Note that the Schwal is not really set up for using laser guided bombs, because the SC-25 didn't have laser guided bombs. So the laser guided bombs will sort of work. Technically, they will go down and follow the laser, but you have to fire them almost like rockets and kind of go, you know go towards the target. You can't do it like an F-18, dropping the bomb directly down because the Schwal does not have a very... Uh, it's just not designed for that thing in terms of its attitude and whatnot. Let me quickly see if we've got a cannon. Launch authorized. Yeah, we do. Pull up. Pull up. Get some. Pull up. Um, I said pretty much. That is my Mirage F-1. Nothing else to really show. It's just based on the modules that I said. The ATA variant is based on the modules that I said. Go out and use them like FC3. It's a good bit of fun. Don't take them seriously because they have almost no access to change things really like flight models, models and stuff. Or certainly not very much. Uh, but it's a good bit of fun if you want to do it on single player. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.